All right, YouTube, back at it again. We have the Yeti kit going. We're just about to start. Um, as you can see, factory sealed. I've not even opened it up to see what's in it. Um, just some quick features that it says it comes with is it comes with the upgraded universal joints. It comes with threaded turnbuckles, dual steer rack, and the heavy duty bevel gears, which are really nice. Um, so let's cut it open, move the rest of the dirt off my desk, and let's see what's inside the box. And uh, now I, I've wanted one of these for a while. Um, they're kind of expensive, RTR. In my opinion, uh, the kit's still really expensive, so don't get me wrong there. It's just, uh, at least if I do a kit, I can get it and build it the way I want to build it. So, straight out of the box, we've got our body sitting right on top. Um, you got your, your roof panel, your truck body. Um, let's set those aside. Uh, got the Falcon, uh, are they? Wild Peak MTs. These are 2.2 by 5.5. Those bad boys. Um, just as a reference, this right here is the Proline Super Swamper. XS on a 1.9 inch wheel so just as a comparison this thing's pretty tall so you got four of them bad boys Let's go side um, our hardware bags see there's one of our CVDs it looks like some shock oil, some bearings. Gotta love some bearings. Let's set that aside. Here's our drivers. Just chilling. Um, this is our transmission bag. Our drive shafts is in it. A couple of the linkages in it. Um, this is our wheel bag, some driver head, some frame pieces. I'm gonna open this one up. Let's take a look at the wheels real quick. Okay. Set this aside. Um, so these wheels here, let's see if we get a. There we go. They're actually a three piece bead lock. Ah, get them apart. really tight which is a good thing there we go so three-piece speed lock this one goes inside the tire this one goes on the outside this one goes on the inside now the cool part about these is you see these three holes that is actually so you can adjust your air let's see if I can see so three holes right there um, depending on how you put the front wheel on, you can actually adjust how much air goes in and outside of the tire. So it's a neat feature that allows you to adjust your dampening in your tire. So we'll set those aside. Um, that's our skid plate. Now, I've seen that they put the skid plate underneath they put the not the skip plate but the radio gear actually goes in this box down here and then it gets a waterproof cover put on and you've got just this little slit here that is going to be used to run your wires out which is a cool little idea we'll uh see how well it works put that back in the bag um Suspension components, our 
shocks and some random miscellaneous bits. Okay. Let's see, here's our bag with our instructions. Uh, Four-way wrench, Loctite, double stick tape, grease, extra screws, and some masking pieces for the body. And then those are all our stickers and decals. So we're going to set this all aside. So let me go ahead and pause it. I'll get the instructions out. I'll get the box set aside and we'll start getting some steps going or at least staging up. So give me just a second. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Um, we're at step one. Step one says go ahead and open up bag A and plastic bag one. We don't need plastic bag one quite yet, but we do need bag A. And we'll set that aside. And step one has us building the uh, differential. So get that out. Now the rear differential has got a locker. And the front differential has got an open uh, diff that is backed with gear oil to give it a um, kind of a, a locked feel, like a, a bit of a, I won't say locked, it's a viscous, it'll make it feel like it's heavier, it'll give you a little bit of a limited slip, that's the word I'm looking for, limited slip. So. Stuff up real quick. There it is. Try not to lose all this stuff. Um, so what you're gonna need is your little diff cup, one of these bearings, just slides on like that, right here. Um, you're going to need your dog bone cup which just goes through like that. But before we put that on, we want to put an O-ring on to help set it. And with the O-ring on, it's always good practice to make sure you don't rip your O-ring up while uh, putting it together. Just to lube it. So just get a little bit of your diff gear oil and put it on the o-ring so that way when you insert it into here you don't rip the o-ring up. Now this has always been the hardest part. See extra o-ring. Like so. Diff gear. Like so. Voila, just like that. Alright guys, so now with this assembled, we're going to assemble the other side. Um, it goes together the same way, you put this half shaft assembled piece on, put a little grease on it, but this time we're going to go through our gear, our bevel gear. Uh, don't forget your bearing, like I almost just did. So your bearing just goes on the outside of the bevel gear. And then very carefully 
push it through. Try not to uh, um, try not to pinch that O-ring we put on. Now on the inside, we've already put the other O-ring on, but I want to take the gear off to show you that I'd already done it. Again, with a little grease, or uh, in this particular case, the differential oil goes on like that. And my tip of my screwdriver is magnetic. So what is it I do is I get that E-clip lined up, and I pinch it with my thumb so it doesn't go flying, and I just give it the slightest push, just like that. And it's set on. So that's the easiest way to do it. You just want to make sure that you've got your finger on it real good or else it'll fly off on you. So we've got these two parts assembled. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the spider gears inside the differential. And they just go in on the sh uh, pin shaft. So they go on like this. Um... The gear side facing in, the beveled end, and then just drops in to the hole built into the the uh, housing. So just like that, and push down and it should lock itself in and they should spread the right width. Um, there's no washers or anything you have to worry about. So now once you've got that done, you take your gear oil your diff oil and you just fill this up now I'm just using the stuff they gave out of the box um, you can run whatever you can run thicker you can run thinner the thicker you run it the more uh, locked up the more limited slip you'll get out of the front end the thinner the less limited slip you'll get out of the front end so it'll it'll free spin a little nicer so you just get that set up like that you're gonna put this gasket this cardboard gasket on and then this gear just drops over top uh, make sure we're doing it right this gear has a uh, these holes aren't equally spaced, so you just want to make sure you're putting it on proper. It looks like. There we go. Alrighty, so once you got that, careful don't tip it, um, that gear, that lube will take a bit to come out if you do tip it, so just stand it back up real quick, you should be fine. So we'll take our long screw, and very carefully screw it together. Now when you're putting this together, you want to make sure you don't go too tight right away. And you want to make sure you go crisscross pattern. That way everything goes together sh straight or as straight as possible. So, nope. And you might have to push down just a little, so let me put my handle on. And when you're filling this uh, differential up with gear oil, you want to make sure you don't overfill it because when you put a uh, 
when you put the top end on, you're also sticking another bevel gear in there, which would uh, then cause it to overflow. So just use a, a, just leave a little bit of an air pocket on the top end, so so you don't end up with a overage and make a mess. So, do this last one. So, alrighty, so that's how you build the front differential. Give it a bit of a turn, and you'll see what I'm talking about when it when I'm talking about a like a limited slip. The faster you turn it, the harder it is to turn. So our next step is going to be doing the plastic parts. So let me uh, pause real quick and grab the parts and we'll do the next step so one sec all right so we've got our two components these are in plastic bag um, one they just go together like this this is the front differential housing to assemble this you're going to need your beveled gear your pinion gear um, you're going to need grease which this bag over here, let me grab that real quick. Grease. Okay. And you're gonna need a couple bearings. So do an inner bearing. That. I don't think that's it. We'll put it in and try. Inner bearing and then outer bearing. So those are the ones. Just put them in like that. But before you put it all the way in, you want to grease the. Uh, teeth on it just a nice coating of it all the way around you, now that's going to be messy when you first run it but luckily it's fully enclosed but it'll uh, definitely increase the length the life expectancy of your gears so let's see Holding it like this, gear in. This piece just drops in like this. Okay. Alrighty. And we have a gear. Cover goes on like so. Alrighty. Inside the front right here, they have us putting a couple set screws Just a couple tiny set screws don't know why but we'll put them in so and they go in these front two holes right there one there On the other side, like so. Now I'm going to build this truck completely stock and then we'll go over, um, as time goes by, we'll do the upgrade videos as I get the upgrades acquired. They are kind of expensive for this truck, 
but there are a lot of them out there and we'll go over a couple of them that are good and a couple of them that are bad and what would not so step one and two um, I think we'll stop at one and two right now because the video is getting kind of long so we'll stop there in our next video we'll do uh, three four five six seven and we'll just slowly chunk through it so thanks for watching like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think uh, Speed Mix signing off